Good afternoon, AJ Gigi. Uh, at first, we have to say sorry for you for disturbing. And today, we are, would like we would like to ask you some questions about yourself. Okay, sure. Alright, shall we start now? Sure. Thank you. First of all, uh, could you please introduce yourself first? Okay, my name is Kiki Julie Angoro. I am from Indonesia. You can call me Kiki. I have been a lecturer at Lailak University for approximately two years now, and I am enjoying the day here. Please tell me about um, your job experience. Okay, so before coming here or here? Um, before coming here. Okay, so I had several jobs before coming here. In I guess in 2014, I was an education consultant for Australia. And then I also became a teaching assistant at the university before, Yogyakarta State University in Indonesia. And after my uh, master's degree, actually, this is my first job after my master's degree. So I guess at, at the moment I'm working here and it's my main job. Oh, interesting. And uh, what is your accomplishment that you are most proud of? Ah, uh, so. I am so proud of uh, the thing I did last year actually. So after working here for a few months, I think after four months, I tried to collect money uh, to give to my parents. I uh, I collected money for them to go to Mecca. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I think that is like <laughs> the biggest accomplishment that I have made to make my parents happy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, was I your happy and why? My hobbies include singing, uh, performing arts, and badminton. Yes, I <laughs> should play badminton every day. <laughs> not every day, uh, not, not Saturday and Sunday. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's close. I, I see every day. <laughs> okay, how do you think about an active learning? Active, active learning, I think it's a really good concept. Mm, because it, uh, I think the core of active learning is the learning itself. It's not about the teacher or the, or the student centered, but as long as the tool or the method is making the learning better, and that becomes the core. Uh, before learning centered, actually before we had the student-centered or the teacher-centered approaches and I think learning-centered approach is um, is the middle way between the teacher and student-centered approach and I think that that's also one of the things that has uh, become the springboard for active learning and therefore I think active learning is actually very significant these days. Uh, in your uh, experience doing jobs, uh, what is your strength point? I... What do you think? Okay, my strong point, right? Yes. Uh, my strong point, I think, is... I, I, I am not really sure uh, about my, my strength in my current job however i do think that uh, because i i own a master's degree in educational technology and therefore it's so easy for me to use technology tools because i'm used to using them yeah. and that, that's also the reason why i got appointed as an ict coordinator i guess because of my ict skills but I'm not sure whether it's my strength or not. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and teacher, I follow you uh, on a Facebook, and I see that you travel a lot. Yeah. And I would uh, ask you about where in Thailand that you have been traveling. Actually, I have traveled to so many places in Thailand. Oh. Yeah. Um, 
we give an example the, uh, the name of province of okay so i have been to Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and then Pizza Nulok, Lampang, Utara, Deep, wow. <laughs> and then uh, Soho, Thai, Ayutthaya, Bangkok, Nakhon Patong, Nakhon Panom, oh. and uh, Udon Thani. Udon Thani. Yeah, Udon Thani. Those places in Pattaya, of course. Uh, Hua Hin. And many province in the yeah, south. Yeah, in the south also a lot. Oh. So oh. I think I have traveled across Thailand. Mm. Yeah. From north turn to, to the south. But I've never <laughs> yeah. been to Patani, Ayala, and Arakiwat. So oh. I think I want to go there soon. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, 